you are here to say a novice, a novice, a novice. It is an insult that Nigeria is the poverty capital of the world, owing to our riches and natural resources. common product. If the oil in Nigeria cannot work for its citizens, then something else must be done. The focus of this objective is simple. The leadership of the NMPC has lost its focus. The leadership of, e of the NMPC has lost its initiatives. Therefore, it should be scrapped, starting from the head, Mr. Mele Kiari. I am a lawyer. We are all exercising this right flowing from the constitution of the Nigeria. We feel pain. All Nigerians feel pain. Both the security operatives feel pain. The business mogul feel pain. Civil servants are more pain than us. They are taking home so that they can no longer take them home. Many indices, the cost of living has gone way behind the rooftop. Nigerians can no longer breathe. We can no longer breathe. Enough is enough. This is the highest we can go as citizens. This is the highest we can go as a people. This is the highest we can go as a nation. Let the president hear the cries of Nigerians and sack and remove Mele Kiari. He has lost focus. He is confused. He does not know what to do about the oil business in Nigeria. Enough is enough. Let the needful be done as we speak. It is time we come out and speak rather than languish and die in our homes. As at the last count, we are 133 million Nigerians that are living in multidimensional poverty. But with current increment, we are close to 150 million Nigerians out of the 280 million Nigerians that are multidimensionally poor. It is an insult that Nigeria is the poverty capital of the world, owing to our riches and natural resources. What we are saying here is that the leadership of the NPCL should resign honorably, owing to the fact that he has failed woefully, owing to the fact of this Basimia failure in all ramifications. They have continued to prioritize profits over the, the entirety of the interests of the mass of the working people. We are tired of dying in our houses. We are tired of uh, little businesses dying. We are tired of our people complaining that uh, the uh, adulterated fuels that have been imp imported into this country is harmful to us. What happens to the four refineries? What happens to the billions and billions of Nigerian naira that has been invested as turned around maintenance in the four refineries? What has happened over time? We the citizens and economic freedom rights activists in Nigeria stand in outrage and indignation against a profound injustice inflicted upon our nation. A deliberate out of economic sabotage orchestrated through blending and distribution of adulterated fuel to citizens of this country. It is both scandalous and unacceptable that Nigerians in their own oil-rich nation are forced to endure the hardships caused by standard, substandard fuel. This is not merely a case of negligence. It is an assault on our economy, our health and our dignity. Today, we call out this betrayal and we demand immediate accountability and actions. In recent days, it has come to light that certain entities have engaged in dangerous and illegal practice of blending inferior fuel before distributing it to Nigerian citizens. The adulterated fuel has entered our market, poisoning our environment, damaged our vehicles, and worsening an already difficult economic situation. It is a travesty that fuel meant to empower our nation, meant to empower our people, meant to empower our progress, has instead been turned into a weapon of, of exploitation. This is not just about fuel. It is about the right of every Nigerian to live in a safe and healthy environment. We are here to say a novice, a novice, a novice. We demand an immediate investigation into the scandal and prosecution of all parties involved in importation, 
blending and distribution of adulterated fuel. We call upon our government, regulatory bodies, law enforcement agencies to act swiftly and decisively. Those who have violated our laws and endangered the life of Nigerians must be held accountable. Yeah.